Hi everyone, welcome to Homeschooling Through the Change and today we're going to be doing a flip through. We're going to be looking at DK's Ocean, the Definitive Visual Guide. Okay, in my last video I did a flip through of Ocean Anatomy by Julia Rothman and that book was geared more towards elementary level but if you're doing an ocean unit and want a book that's more for um, middle school or high school this is your best bet so let's get started um, the book is by DK and with um, the American Museum of Natural History and um, I just love this book. I've used it multiple times now to my surprise and I didn't realize that I'd be referring to it multiple times. So the pictures, just like with any DK book, is just absolutely stunning. And um, the table of contents starts out with um, shallow seas, the open ocean and ocean floor, polar oceans, ocean life, which is the majority of the book, Kingdoms of Ocean Life, which is under the Ocean Life section, and then Atlas of Oceans. So there's an atlas in the back of the book. So these pictures are really, really wonderful. And you can, you can use them for younger grades just looking at the pictures. So it starts off with properties of water um, and the chemistry of water, so really the science of the oceans. And then it goes into the geology, um, how the oceans were formed, evolution of the oceans over time, um, and then circulation and climate, so a bit about the winds and the currents. And this diagram is my favorite diagram illustrating the currents of the world because it shows where the warm and cool currents are but how the cooler currents are lower down and the warmer currents are closer to the surface. This makes a huge difference. It's a 3D circulation, not a 2D circulation of water around the whole globe. So a little bit about weather and then waves and tides. And then ocean environments. So here there are different places on the ocean that you can look at. So for instance, the coasts and the seashore. Um, Yeah, and, they, and I love these little maps that show you where things are, plus the real pictures. Estuaries and lagoons, etc. So these are shallow areas. Mangroves, mangrove forests. Yeah, shallow seas. So they're going to talk about coral areas. Sargasso. So whether you're doing shallow areas or deep oceans, there's a section in this book for you. So the open ocean, last year when we did our ocean unit, we did the deep, um, deep oceans. And so we spent some time on this page looking at the different zones, like the sunlit zone and the abyssal zone and all that. Um, and then the creatures of those zones. So there's a little bit on each of that. Submarines. And you can expand on all of this with other books as well. Here's trenches and what's down in the deep, deep, deep ocean. The pressures and all that. Vents and seeps. And then polar oceans. So this year, when we do our polar unit, we're going to be looking at this because apparently the polar areas are more ocean than land, especially the Arctic. And so we'll be looking at, I have it marked here, um, we'll be looking at these pages. Here it describes the types of ice, the Titanic disaster, more types of ice. And then uh, the ocean life begins. So at this point in the book, it's roughly 
not quite halfway, but now we're going to have basically an encyclopedia of all the creatures that live in the ocean. And it's, it's organized by um, species. And so they'll give you the name, the Latin name, the map, a real picture of it, and a short description of each creature and plant. And so this, this by these uh, yellow stripe here, that shows you how much of the book are creatures. So, yeah. There's sea seabirds and sea mammals. Here. And then we get to the atlas part. Whale migration. So atlas of the oceans. Now this part of the book is the last section of the book and, and it has beautiful atlases. It's like having Google Earth but in printed form. And in all, all of these maps, you can see where ridges and trenches are and where, what areas are shallow and what areas are more deep. There's a key here that tells you that. And then, like all atlases, there's also random facts. So here we have wind farming in the Baltic, and this is a wind farm in an ocean, or at least a, sh a sea. And, of course, those lovely pictures. A tsunami. Here is an, a picture of Antarctica and the oceans around Antarctica. Not too much detail on the actual continent because this is an ocean atlas. But you can see what the southern ocean looks like, which I think is fascinating. And some uh, close-ups of different parts of Antarctica. Yeah, and so that is the end of DK Oceans. I totally recommend it because this is the third time that I'll be visiting this book. To my surprise, I thought, you know, how many times can you do oceans, right? But we've actually uh, had reason to go through this book several times. So if you're doing an ocean unit, whether you're doing sh shallow seas or you're doing deep oceans or you're doing a polar unit like we are, this is totally useful for you, and I, I highly recommend that you get it. So, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next.